Hi, my name is Stephanie and I quit emotional eating. That feels so good to say. I'm Stephanie Miller. I am a personal and spiritual growth coach as well as an author and a speaker, a military wife and a mom to two toddlers. And for the purpose of this topic today, I am a recovered emotional eater. I was so excited to be able to join in on this collaboration and to join in this opportunity because one of the driving forces that allows me to be open and honest and transparent is I firmly believe that the need for us to share our stories is greater than the need for us to stay guarded. And what I mean by that is when I was able to talk about this emotional eating and my problem and my struggle and how I overcame emotional eating in this story, I felt God call to me to really kind of dig a little bit deeper and talk about the nitty gritty and the hard, hard facts and the hard feelings and thoughts and emotions that were surrounding that struggle and the surrounding that vicious cycle that I was stuck in. Uh, of people who do experience emotional eating and they experience disordered eating might feel a sense of shame. And I know for me, there was a lot of shame that I carried in my own struggle with emotional eating. And so that is my hope for people who do uh, take a look at this chapter and who do want to overcome emotional eating is that you realize that it is not going to be this way forever. You are not going to be stuck in this cycle feeling powerless and hopeless and destined to keep repeating the same mistake over and over again. All you need to do is realize that you cannot fix yourself on your own. You cannot stop emotional eating on your own. But if you surrender over that issue and if you release it over to God, he will come in and heal those broken pieces and bind up those empty spaces in your heart to make you whole again, to show you that true hope, the only sense of hope and strength and comfort and peace is found in him. Take care, friends. I hope you check out the chapter, uh, I Quit Emotional Eating on the I Quit book, as well as the other fabulous chapters that are located in the book. I pray it transforms you. I pray it renews you. And I pray it strengthens you to walk fully and freely into who God has called you to be. Take care.